Hey, Nick Frederick, Agrigold Agronomist here in Southern Illinois. It's April 24th. We woke up a little bit chilly this morning. The temperatures have quickly gotten warmer and the questions have started to roll in. Do I plant corn? Do I plant soybeans? Do I plant it all? Well, I think the answer today on April 24th is it's time to put seed in the ground. I do realize as we look at the 10 day forecast throughout most of Southern Illinois, we don't get much higher than the mid 60s. We've got nightly lows, and that soil temperature isn't all that warm right now. But what I don't see today are those huge fluctuations in temperature that we've been facing for the past couple of weeks. In fact, as we look into the beginning of May, we actually see a steady increase in air temperature, which leads me to believe that from today moving forward, we just see that soil temperature continue to creep up. So I feel comfortable putting corn and soybean seed in the ground today, but there are some challenges and risks associated with it that we need to recognize. The first one is by putting seed in the ground today, it may take 10 or 14 days to see it emerge. So slow germination. And when we have corn and soybean seeds slowly germinating, makes it much more susceptible to things like disease and insect pressure. Now, when it comes to disease, we're talking a whole host of soil-borne diseases, fusarium, pythium, etc. But that's what your seed treatment is for. A seed treatment is designed to give you protection for the first two, three, maybe four weeks in that young crop's life. I'm happy to say with Agrigold on our corn seed, we have Vientis as our new standard on that seed treatment package. So in addition to all the other fungicide active ingredients and the insecticides, we now have Vientis which offers us uh, new protection on a, on a Pythium species that we didn't previously have. And for soybean seed, if you're planting early, maybe you treat it with Saltro, which would be an additional fungicide specifically aimed at targeting that SDS disease that's also soil borne. In addition to the diseases, there's also some insects that we have to be aware of. Wireworm, white grub, seed corn maggot, all have the opportunity to thrive and work on seeds or young seedlings when we're cool and wet in these early growing conditions. So we have to recognize that our seed treatment package is aimed to protect against these things, but if it does take us a slow time to get up out of the ground, we do make ourselves more susceptible. With that said, I would move to the next piece. Choose hybrids that have great emergence scores. Because like I said, the slower it takes to get out of the ground, the more susceptible we are. So work with your local DSM, identify those hybrids and soybean varieties that have great emergence that'll fly out of the ground with a lot of vigor, be strong for us. So even if that seed treatment is starting to wear off at the end, we've got some natural genetic resistance to some of these challenges in the soil. I want to, I want to say again, that this is advice that we can plant. This is not a recommendation to push. If the conditions in the soil aren't fit to plant, let's stay out of them. We've still got a month left of quality planting time. But again, not knowing what the future holds, I'd rather get some stuff in the ground now, feel comfortable with where the soil temperature is moving towards the future. But remember, you can plant and feel comfortable with it. Don't push. Don't go into areas that don't need to be planted if they're too heavy. We're going to focus on how to maximize those planting opportunities throughout the rest of this week with identifying proper soil conditions and, uh, and monitoring your seed depth. So stay tuned, we're gonna focus on some other topics this week, but as for today, if the question is, can I plant? I'm totally good with planting corn or soybeans. Just recognize some of those risks and work with your local DSM team to, uh, to manage those. So thank you, stay tuned, more videos to come this week.